And hello everybody and welcome back to my Armored Core Master of Arena Let's Play. To finish off this Let's Play, we are going to finish off all of the arena fights. This might take a couple more episodes worth to do it. Uh, we do only have... Yeah. We have one more... Or, uh, one more fight in the actual arena, which is Prime. Uh... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go all in. There we go. So, we're gonna just start killing ravens. And, uh, this is actually how you unlock most of the new parts in the game, is by defeating ravens in the arena. And, specifically, there's actually a good amount of parts hidden in the sub arena, or hidden in the EX arena. Which, that will be done in its own kind of separate Let's Play. Woo! Dodge the missile. You can see the large missile trying to hit me. Oh, it did hit me, finally. Well done. <laughs> oh, man, the Kurosawa is just so destructive. It breaks the game, honestly. It, it breaks the game. Yeah, it, it is gross. Very gross. It didn't even last 30 seconds. Well, hell, I mean, that one guy didn't even last 10 seconds <laughs> in that one mission last from the last episode. That was crazy. 54,000. Anyway, continuing on, uh, we're going to be fighting Sweet Devil. Sorry about that. Um, unrelentless in his attacks. By the time he closes in on his opponents, it is all over. Um, what did he? What did we fight him in? I forget what he was doing. Anyway, yeah, we're going to kill this man. He has a handgun and a large missile, but like, eh, it's not really. <laughs> It's not really worth it to... Con well, I say it's not really worth it. I'm doing it right now. Prepare to die! <laughs> ah! So his missiles do a lot of damage, but... It does, they don't do damage as fast as my Kurosawa does. <laughs> pulse missile, or pulse cannon, handgun. Oh, they do a lot of damage. Holy shit. Okay. Well, there's a reason you're only allowed four of them, so... 
you can, uh, I think the maximum you can get if you equip a magazine is you can get one more, so you can have a maximum of five. Or if you're wielding two of them, you get a maximum of eight. And they do a lot of damage, but... Uh, 10,000 acquired... Alright, uh, Inky, Regulon. So this guy is basically a, like, kind of a, another version of Wildcat. He has the same general armament, machine gun, chain gun, missile. Although he does not have human plus or a moonlight blade, I don't think. So he shouldn't be too tough. My damage output's better than yours. <laughs> so, case in point, uh, something like the chain gun should be able to theoretically out DPS a laser rifle, but not so in this game with the Kurosawa, which is gross. So yeah, it's got chain gun, machine gun, ch small missile, chain gun. Eh, it's whatever. It's not the worst setup. Imagine if he had Human Plus, he could fire while on the move with the chain gun. That, that would be baller. Sadly, not so much. Yeah, most of the uh, enemy ACs with Human Plus are actually in the uh, EX arena. And now we're going to the extra arenas. So, yeah, there's a decent amount. Bibs, very quick and difficult to track, lacks both offensive and, or defensive and offensive strength. So you're saying he's not very good, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's fine. is dead I do actually really like the explosion uh, the exploding effect they use where the the unit like sheds pieces of it like almost like a like like it's crumbling apart so it's got missiles and a machine gun and seemingly that's it yeah I've actually uh, considered doing some videos on uh, my uh, Magic the Gathering decks that I have, but... Oh, we got a new gun! Let's go take a look at the new gun, shall we? I do believe this is the EN machine gun. Yeah, it's a machine gun, and I do believe, so this machine gun actually shows up in uh, Armored Core 1's opening cinematic, is being uh, wielded by the, uh, the heavyweight biped that punches the door down, and it obviously doesn't appear in that game, but it does make its appearance here as an energy machine gun. So basically, it's a machine gun that fires energy bullets instead. 
and that has all the downsides of being an energy gun. Demolished. Pretty good, right? Halting it's actually a pretty beefy gun. Uh, it's still not as powerful as the Kurosawa, because nothing is, but it's a pretty fun little gun to use. Sadly, energy machine guns would make a return in later games, but they're not nearly as good as this one is. So... I think we're actually going to go ahead and stick with this for now, just for the hell of it for some of these fights. Because, you know, I like being adventurous. Blaster. Diamond Wing. Oh, he's a tank. <laughs> Looks like he's got the grenade launcher, rocket launcher, and the slug gun, I think? Go ahead and switch up the map. Yeah, I do believe this guy is not going to do well. Uh, <laughs> so being an energy weapon, this gun does have the same benefits in that it doesn't cost you any ammunition to replenish after a mission. And it has it's, it benefits from all of the energy weapon abilities. If this is the Kurosawa, he'd be dead already. So... It's still pretty, pretty fun, though. It's definitely not a uh, game-breaking gun, unlike the Kurosawa, which is just ridiculous with its damage output. Something that, uh... <laughs> made Okami, a.k.a. I guess he's called Crimson now on Discord, makes him very angry that the Kurosawa's and energy weapons in general are so powerful. In fact, he made it, it made him so angry he deleted his uh, one of his Discord servers uh, in spite, or something like that. In any case, energy weapons are broke in Gen 1 AC. That they get, they're still kind of well. The Kurosawa is still broken in Armored Core 2, but uh, not nearly as much. Triad Protector, always concerned for the natural environment. He fights to earn money for his cause. Well, considering Armored Cores blow up the environment in their battles, kind of self-defeating it seems. At least that's what it seems to me, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna switch back over to the Kurosawa after this fight. Because we, we, we've shown off the energy machine gun in this game. It's a very nice gun. I honestly wish this was just a regular machine gun. Because the, you know, the firepower that it presents as an energy machine gun, it's not really worth the energy drain. That's something that energy machine guns always suffer in comparison to their normal ballistic counterparts. Because a part of what makes machine guns really good is you can constantly be firing them while you're on the move and that's very hard to do with an energy machine gun because you're using up your energy twice as quickly so he's... oh he's got this he's got the default rifle <laughs> no i don't know if he does actually oh no he doesn't he has the upgraded rifle yeah the default rifle in this game is just so bad. It's so bad. It is ridiculously bad how it's it's ridiculous how bad the stock rifle is. Ten thousand. All right. 
back to the Kurosawa. Because as, as much as I love this weapon, because it is pretty fun, uh, how's it compared damage-wise? I'm pretty sure it does more damage than the other machine guns. 185. 85, 135, 105. Okay, so it is the most powerful machine gun out of the bunch in terms of damage. And you can increase that with the energy weapon damage modifier optional part in this game. But it's... Mm, it's not really worth it because it makes it hard to constantly be on the move when you're firing with it. Oop, not that. There we go. Back to the super duper broken Kurosawa. Ivy. Piloting Arachnid. He attempts to confuse his opponents with swarms of missiles and smoke trails. Uh, okay, sure you do. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> That's something that they definitely improve on in later games, is they make they make energy weapons still powerful, but not so powerful as to be like the only weapon you really ever want to be using. God grief, come on. go. He is dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm -hmm. One thing I wish uh, they had stuck around with in Armored Core 4 and 4 Answer was the dual back weaponry. Uh, in Armored Core 4, they don't have any dual back weapons. In Armored Core 4 Answer, they have a whopping... Two. One of them is the uh, Oigami massive grenade cannon that uh, Arafumi or uh, Takafumi Arasawa or something like that uses. And that's fine. It's a super oversized cannon. But we don't have anything like the LX cannon, really. And the assault armor, the assault cannon thing is useless. Uh, pilot uses fluorescent color on his AC to make it stand out. Probably not the wisest choice. <laughs> oh, some of these are going to be very silly. Especially when we get to the EX arena. Some of the builds in the EX arena are... Um... Very strange. Target defeated. Well done, me. <laughs> well done, me. Hooray. Machine gun, slug gun. Well, I mean, it's not a terrible armament. It is when you don't hold down the fire button for your machine gun. <laughs> uh, yeah, the slug guns are very powerful if you can get direct, uh, very up close shots. But the the projectiles spread out very far at at distance. 
And unfortunately, only Valkyrie has the ability to full auto spam shoot it, so that's an AC1. Blitz, Fighter, an ex fighter pilot. His AC is well balanced with no real weakness. Pulse rifle, vertical missile. Sure, I can point out a weakness. He doesn't have the Karasawa. That's a weakness, right? <laughs> I do find it very funny that I basically have played through this game for the most part with the same booster and generator and FCS setup that I used in Armored Core 1. So. Ow. Oh, he has a laser cannon on the back. Okay. Stop dodging! Come on! Alright, that's getting annoying. Shit, okay. Well done. You got me. Uh, we're gonna try this again. <laughs> Apparently he has the uh, really powerful laser cannon on the back, so that's actually... surprising. God. So that means this guy has human plus, okay. God, stand still, will you? That's fine. I will finish you off with missiles. Ha! Ah, gotcha! Well done. That was actually a pretty fun fight. So... Hmm. All right, there we go. Oh, no, he has a laser rifle. I thought he had pulse rifle. Okay. Huh. Okay, laser rifle, vertical missile. I could have sworn it shows in the picture that he has the pulse rifle. Unless I'm mistaken. That's odd. Regardless, I did get him. As I lean back, and you probably can't hear me very well. Anyway. Alright, let's try to pop my back. 10,000. Yeah, that is very clearly the pulse rifle uh, on the model here in the picture, but in the actual battle, he has the laser rifle. Ha! Huh. Go figure.
top cap, track king. He talks of making it to number one in the arena, but his skills do not bear this out. So, large missile, bazooka, ammo. So, a tank. Alright. This should be fairly easy. He's piloting a tank, guys. He's piloting a tank. I will melt you with the Kurosawa water hose of death. <laughs> okay, yeah, so. Uh, about another five. Well, no, actually, slightly longer than that. Uh, there was a delay earlier. I don't know why he didn't fire his large missile. Yeah, that's just the AI being dumb. You'll find that with a lot of these extra extra arena opponents that some of the AI are programmed to be very strange. I don't know why, but they're just very strange sometimes. It's very weird. Thousand. Ooh, we got a new head. This head part makes a reappearance in uh, Last Raven, actually. Oh, hold on. There she blows. Uh, it's not that good, if I'm being honest. It's the unicorn head. If you want to give your AC a horn like a unicorn, there you go. Aside from that, it's not that good. Back to the arena. Evolve! Capable of both good offense and defense, his dual cannon is very destructive. So, cannon arms and vertical missiles, as my phone makes a bunch of noise. Okay. Anyway, ignore that. <laughs> Okay, so he's got those cannon arms. Ow! Good job! You hurt yourself with your own cannon! <laughs> There we go. That was actually pretty fun. Uh, those are the most my favorite kinds of fights is against enemies that like just try to kill you. They don't do the whole running away bullshit. They're not maneuvering like crazy. They're just trying to kill you. Vertical missile showing how not very good it is in a uh, <laughs> domed arena. In the arenas without the dome, they're not as bad, but not so good here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright. Ten thousand. Welder. Fog 4. A relatively new member of AC Team Fog, he shows great potential. Well, we'll find out. After this one, we'll call it good for the episode. So. Looking at the time. Oh yes, great potential. Immediately gets stun locked when he hits the ground. 
Oh, he's going for the pulse cannon. My energy gun is bigger. <laughs> there we go. Um, enemy defeated. So. Well, uh, we are going to go ahead and call it good for the episode there. Oh, let's see, God, he's got a handgun, small missile, and pulse cannon. Interesting. Anyway, so we're going to call it good there. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, I shall be seeing you in the next episode, and uh, take care.